is going on guys glad you are back um, so I got something to show you everybody knows that has been on the channel that I love my Ruger American Predator in 308 but the time has come she's got to go and so let me flip you around here and you can see what's going on so here she is in her all her beauty Matthews fabrication cheek rest Highly recommend if you don't have a high cheek rest already on your rifle. KRG bolt lift. This is from a Reming for a Remington 700. Um, milled out a little bit of the inside. There's a video on that as well. Um, paints painted the stock myself. Obviously, you can tell by the outstanding quality. And then painted the action and the barrel dark green. The muzzle brake is off. And if you remember, I cleaned out the stock so it was actually free floating and so I was at the Bass Pro Shop here in southern Houston and there was a rifle that I have been drooling over since since it was introduced I have not seen one until that time this is almost a week ago mm, yeah almost a week ago now still haven't shot it imagine that but um, I had to have it. And it was more expensive than any rifle I'd ever bought before. Some of you may be like, that's it? After you see what I got, I'm like that that's all you spent? That's all you got? Yeah, that's all I got. I like to have things that work for me. If a lower cost version like this Ruger American Predator works for me, which this absolutely does, then I use it. And I use the heck out of it. And they usually end up being great. And so with that, um, I guess I'll get you switched around. So clearly, we're still shooting a 308. Still got some reloaded ammo for, from my Ruger. S took the muzzle brake off the Ruger and put it on this beauty. It's got a stainless barrel, 16 and a half inches. Let me know in the comments if you guessed what it was before we get to it. It has a free floated AR style handguard. And then a little teaser there. Oh, 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 oh. And so I kept the Bushnell scope. And if you guessed Sig Cross, you are absolutely correct. Obviously. Came with a, a five round with the special feed lips so you can single load better. Threw a 10 round P mag in there. Works just fine. But take a look at this. And so stock, they claim 6.5 pounds. I was at 6 pounds, well, 6.7 pounds with mine. Um, presumably it has the bolt fix or the trigger fix or whatever they had a recall for. Haven't had any issues yet, but again, I've not shot it. I've cycled the bolt over 150 times, dry fired it about that many times, and I'm about done doing that. Um, if you don't know, it, yes, it looks like an AR, but all of this, all the way up to here and all of the top piece here is one milled piece. The scope rail is removable. So presumably they're going to sell one that integrates rings. I've seen pictures of it. I've never seen one in real life and it's not on their website. And then they also have one that goes from here. Supposedly it's going to go all the way down here. So I'm not real sure about that. The stock is folding. I'm going to get in here see if you can see this a little bit better. And so you can kind of see the hinge here, but you push down on that and lift up gently on the stock and it will fold this way. You can make it fold to the left if you remove this, uh, the butt stock, and then remove the hinge piece, flip them over, bolt them back on, it'll go the other way. The butt stock is adjustable for length of pull, for comb height, and if you push this button, as you can see, the buttstock will go up and down. And I'll do a little demonstration here in a second. As it sits with the Tinron mag, with the Bushnell engage 2.5 to 10, and with the muzzle brake, I am at eight pounds, nine ounces. And it is very, very maneuverable because of the 16 and a half inch barrel. And so let me get you 
flipped around here in a second and I'll show you some functionality of the weapon. All right, so a little bit of functionality on this. So um, just first things first, we're gonna clear the weapon just to show you that it's clear. The, ma the mag drop, mag release, oh my gosh, my words, is right here in the front of the trigger well. Push that in and that comes out. And last I checked, yep, they drop free. The mag that came with it with the orange follower drops free as well. And then I have a Christensen drops free as well. All right, chamber is clear. So first and foremost, bolt. Um, yeah, let's do bolt first. So I was told, I, I think you can do it if you push the, uh, the comb down, but I just fold it, I pull it back, and there's a little tab right here on the top. Push it down, comes out. It is machined very nicely. Triple lug design, M16 extractor, it's pretty nice. I have not ripped this apart yet because I don't have a reason to. Um, some people are like, oh my gosh, you haven't done that yet? Nah, come on man, I don't even clean my guns, <laughs> usually. Um, like I said, this is all one piece, and then it has similar to a, um, like an M4 style, it's got a, the barrel with a extension on it that, re that mates to this receiver, and then this bolts on, two bolts here, two bolts here, and then you can take the handguard off. Presumably it's easy to remove this barrel and replace it with what will be coming in the future, new cartridges or new calibers, things like that. This is a 308 as stated before. They do make 6.5 Creedmoor and allegedly the 277 Fury, although nobody has seen it except for a couple of the YouTube guys that hunted with it, they had good results and so good for them. Um, right off the bat, like initial perception of this, it, it's gorgeous. It's pretty dang light. It's very maneuverable. It feels like an AR in the hands. Gee, I don't know why. <laughs> um, let me show you how the, the um, buttstock works here. And so you're gonna push on the button and it won't fold. But then using the leverage on your, on your thumb, you lift up slightly. It's stiff and then it locks here so it doesn't come off. I mean, this is small. And I'm actually going to shoot it like this because it is sick like this. I love this. Anyways, another cool feature where the bolt is re, uh, has a recess here to make it ride smoother. It goes all the way back into the buttstock to help with the way it rides because this thing, not as smooth because somebody's going to say it. Well, my Kelbley action or my Bighorn, Zermatt, whatever is better. Yes, it is. Even the origin from Bighorn, I think it's 850 for the action. That action is better than this. That's cool. That's what they do though. All right, Sig just throws stuff together, makes weapons. They make good weapons, but introductions of weapons with them has been rocky at best from my understanding. This is the first one I've bought from them. But anyways, this is really smooth. Um, short bolt throw. The trigger is, in my opinion, one of the better ones that I've used. It's curved, but not quite flat. It's kind of in between. Um, and I'll, I'll squeeze the trigger from this side so you can kind of see. But it's got some, the first initial take up, and then it's about a pound and a half to two pounds. So mine's set kind of low. Tiniest bit of creep before it'll fire, not much. And I'm sweating like a pig out here. I'm in my garage, the fan is off, and it's 96 degrees outside. So, anyways, the safety lever should seem very familiar. The only thing I don't like about it, and I need to verify that this isn't a flaw, look at this. It stops right here if you don't keep pushing it. It sounds like an index is there. But if you just if you just go through the motion, it's cool. But you can also do it in this in my hunting rifle mostly, so. I can operate this extremely quiet. Hopefully you didn't hear that because that would make me look stupid. <laughs> and I have enough problems with that on this channel already, according to some people. I had a guy say, it's hard to take you serious. I'm like, uh, yeah. You must not know me, obviously. <laughs> Anyways. Um, 
not going to sit here and dwell on this, but I, oh, butt stop before we go. So it folds, and then here, there's a little lever right here. You push it, you push the button, I'm sorry, there's a release button for it. You push the button, bring this around, and you got that much adjustability. Inch and a quarter or so. Um, pretty nice. Hold it where you want it to go, start to lock it, it'll stay. And you can, the cool thing is you can do this while you're on the rifle. The buttstock, you loosen this knob, and it's indexed, and then you tighten it down. There have been a couple of reports of people having their buttstock collapse on them. Um, I think maybe they're not tightening it enough. I've tried to force this one, I can't get it to go. And then the, the pad is adjustable. There's a little button right here, you push that up and down quite a bit actually so um, that's what I'm gonna give y'all for now since I haven't shot it don't have any loads for it um, I'm gonna do a no-no and shoot some of my very mild 180 gr grain uh, loads out of it and we'll see where that goes but there's gonna be a lot more to come out of this thing because this is gonna be my go everywhere and do everything rifle and with that stay tactical